Welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica with Rosie Research and we are making some fun little games with Arduino. And I found some great ideas over at University of Wyoming. So we are gonna make some of their stuff and we can learn with their code and then we don't have to type in all of our code also. It's a great way to learn by sort of dissecting other people's code. So today we're going to need our Arduino Uno and a breadboard. And then we are gonna make the whack-a-mole. So we need a few LEDs. We're gonna have an LED that is the mole on each side that you can put in. And let's change these guys to white so our moles can be white. And I'm gonna move this one in one more. Then we're gonna have an LED that lights up if you whack the mole and miss it. So if this mole lights up and you hit a button over here, you would miss it. Or if you just take too long, then you're going to miss it. And we're also going to have a button or an LED that lights up if you are successful to let you know that you got it. So we'll use red for missing and green for success because that kind of makes a lot of sense for me. And then we are going to make a push button. And so we're going to put push buttons on either side so that if this one lights up, we can push this button this one lights up we can push that button and we'll see whether or not we are successful so those are all sort of the components and now we need to wire them up so all of these LEDs we're gonna wire into ground using a resistor and let's maybe move these down a little bit then so that the resistor doesn't take over the LED space and I'm gonna put it into the green one the red one and then my other mole. And then we should wire our ground in so that we don't forget to do that. That's really important. All right, now our buttons all need to go to ground. So we can also wire one side of our buttons into ground like this. And then everything else is gonna be going into our Arduino. So we can take the other side of our button and we can bring this over and put it into pin two. And we'll call this one, we'll make this gray. I'm gonna make this one paired in color with this white mole LED. And that's because these two are gonna to go together, right? If this light is on, I want to press this button. And that will help me remember where those go. I am going to put the green one, I'll put it into the pin next to those guys, and I'm going to color that one green. And this one I will color pink, it's kind of nice it goes underneath those buttons for us. I'm going to color this one pink because I don't like using red unless it's to 5 volts. And then lastly we're going to attach our last set of moles. And these ones we will make white. And I will come down here for this last piece. All right, we are all wired up. All these parts have a component that is going into our Arduino IDE. And we have everything wired up. So now we need to write the code. And this one we aren't going to be able to do in blocky code. So we are going to use just text. And you'll hit continue for that. And then you can give yourself a little bit more space to write our text in there. So the first part we are going to want to sort of define all of our pins that we put these LEDs into. So I'm going to use the code that's over at the University of Wyoming website and at the top of their code they define where everything is going to go. So we're going to put our own pin numbers in here and one way to not get as confused is let's come over here and label things mole one and this one will be mole two. That way we don't get confused later on. All right, so mole one LED, that would be this wire right here, that is going into pin three for us. Mole two LED, which is this one, is going into pin six. The mole one switch would be the switch on the side of mole one. So that would be number two. Mole switch two would be this one, and that is pin seven. 
our success LED is if we successfully whack that mole, we get the green light, that's pin four. And our failure LED, if we miss it, is gonna be pin five. Now what's nice about declaring all these things, it's gonna be a little bit more typing throughout because you don't, you have to write all mole one LED and you can't write three. But if you do change the wiring or you notice, oops, I wrote all of this code and by accident my three is really two, you can come up here and just switch it, which is really nice. It's a great way to declare things inside of your programs. So the next chunk of code that we will all be familiar with is doing the pin modes and declaring these pin modes as inputs or outputs. So the two buttons are gonna be inputs, right? The Arduino is waiting to hear from the push buttons. And then the four LEDs are all outputs. And we can write that here like this. So we've got some outputs and you'll notice that there's something interesting here. We have an input pull up and that allows us to not have to connect these buttons to five volts. So it adds a little tiny bit of juice onto these buttons. It pulls them up ever so slightly in current so that when you press it, that goes away and it allows the Arduino to see it. It's a great way to not have to even use the power on this board. So we have our six inputs our, our two inputs and our four outputs, so our six pin modes declared here. And we are going to choose how to do this stuff randomly. So we're gonna use a random time generator so that we can't decide what's gonna happen. You can't, it's gonna change every single time this game is played, which will be make it a lot more fun. So we will make a random seed in milliseconds and that will allow us to do that. So the first thing that we're gonna do after our setup and inside of our loop, this is the part that repeats forever. The first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna make, choose randomly if it's mole one or mole two. And we can do that by choosing just a random number from zero or one. So this two gives you two digits, it's gonna be zero or one. And if that random number is zero, we can do something. And here, if that random number is zero, we are going to want to turn on the mole LED and we're gonna watch on the mole switch. So this mole whack is actually another little program that will write and it's the mole whack is gonna say, look for something to happen on the right switch, switch one, let's say, and the right, turn on the right LED. And if our random number isn't the one that's gonna turn on one, it's gonna be the one that turns on two. There's really only two options. So we can put an else and we don't even need an if there because if it's not zero, it's gonna be one. And in that case, we're gonna turn on mole switch two. We're gonna start looking for somebody to press mole switch two and we'll turn on the LED at mole switch one. Or sorry, at we'll turn on the LED at mole two. And then after we've turned this LED on, we're gonna wait a random amount of time between turning, you know, your first coin flip on between one and two and your second coin flip on and your third coin flip on. We're gonna wait a random amount of time because otherwise we'll be able to say, okay, it's always one second, I'll press this button, I'll wait, I'll be really, really ready. But if they just sort of pop up randomly, that makes it a lot more difficult. So outside of your else, we're gonna delay a random amount of time. And we can delete this tiny little delay, that's just Tinkercad's way of trying to help their circuits run a little bit better. So here we're gonna delay randomly um, somewhere between 1,000 and 4,000 milliseconds. So anywhere between one to four seconds. So this is the program that we want, right? We want to randomly choose what happens, look on the switch, and if not, choose the other one and then delay. But we do need to make this program here, this mole whack, which is like a sort of little sub program that this calls. And if we don't put it in there, Arduino will say, hey, you told me to go look at this book or this instruction manual, but you didn't include it. And where do I find it? It'll be really unhappy. So we are going to write this little book. And so the way you write these little books is you put the void and then you put whatever you want to call it. So they're calling it mole whack here. And you put the things that are going to be used in it that are going to sort of oops, pass through it. So here we're using a mole switch number. It's either gonna be mole switch one or mole switch two. And so this will get passed in here and then it will know which one to put it on. And then we also need another one for the LED. So even though this just says mole LED, 
That's because we're not writing two programs that are exactly the same and one is, if you do this, call this program that has all the ones in it. Otherwise do this that calls the other program, which is identical, but has all the twos in it. This allows us to switch those ones and twos and have the same program. You have the open squiggly bracket and then give yourself a little bit of space and put a closed squiggly bracket so we don't forget about it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to turn on the LED that corresponds with either mole one or mole two, and that's defined by whatever is passed through here. So if we call this one, we're gonna call and look at mole one switch and mole one LED. And if it's the other one, we look at the twos. So we can write just the mole LED because the ones and the twos will get passed through here and mole LED will become either mole one LED or mole two LED. Um, so we're gonna turn that high. That's the first thing we're gonna do because that tells our user, hey, this is the one or this is the one that you want to whack on. And then we want this LED to be on for also a random amount of time. Maybe the mole comes up and is looking around and maybe finds some peanuts and is there for a really long time. Maybe it pops its head up and sees us and freaks out and goes right back in. So we want that to be random. And the way that we can do that is we can give our, our mole a wait time and that's a random time between 200 and 700 milliseconds. All right, so some of them will be really fast and some of them will be a little bit slower. And then once that mole turns on, we wanna start a timer inside of our Arduino to see like, hey, did you press the button fast enough? Because we don't wanna sit here and wait for like 10 seconds for you to press this button while other things are also going on and off. And we, we need a timer to start and that timer is the amount of time it's gonna take you to press this button. So we can start a timer and this long just allows us to have a really precise long number. And so we have a start time and it's gonna start counting in those milliseconds for us. Now our moles are gonna be popping their heads out for somewhere between two and 700 milliseconds. And any time that their head is out and this light is on, we are going to want to be able to press this, right? So if this time that we have is less than whatever random mole wait time that's changing, then we want the light to be on. And we can do that with a while loop. So while our mills minus the start time is gonna be less than the mole wait time. All right, so as long as that guy's smaller, then we can do stuff. Then we can wait for that button press. And we see that button press through an if statement where we can say if the switch is low, because remember we pulled this up ever so slightly. So pressing the button puts us to ground, which puts that pin completely low. And that is how we can see if we pushed the button, if it's whacked or not. And then now that we have pushed it, we're gonna want to do something with that information. And we're gonna wanna light up this little green LED, which is our success LED. So if that is pushed, and I'm actually gonna give myself a little bit of space to be in this if statement and give myself my curly brackets at the end so we don't forget them, then I am going to write my success LED, which is the green LED. I'm gonna put that on high. And I also am gonna to wanna to turn off either mole one or mole two, whatever LED was on, I do wanna turn that off now. So let's digitally write that low, all right? And then we are gonna wait for a little bit of time and then also turn the green one off. And we can write that as a delay and then digitally writing this success low. So I'm gonna delay for a little bit and then we'll digitally write that low. All right, and then the last thing that we're gonna want in this if loop is that we're gonna to wanna to return to doing the whole program again. So we're doing this program that sort of goes on forever where we choose a random thing forever. And then we are going to go into this when a light turns on and now we need to return back to that program. And we can write that just as return and that will return us out of this loop and back into choosing a new mole. All right, so now we wanna check our curly brackets. We've got a curly up here, which would go with this one. The while loop has a curly, and then our if loop. We're missing one set of curly brackets, so let's put in another curly right there. And now, if we don't, if this start time, if it's been too long and we didn't hit this, and we didn't go through this loop and come back up into our, our main loop that chooses the mole, then we wanna tell you that you failed. So we're gonna turn this red light on outside of this while loop because it's no longer true. It, we took too long to hit it, so now we're gonna turn that fail light on. So just like before, the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is turn that mole LED off. Whether it's one or two, we're gonna turn it off by putting it low. And then we will write the fail high, wait, and write it low. All right, so we can 
right our fail LED which is red hi we can wait maybe we wait for a half a second and don't flash it and then we go low and then that's it and now we're going to go automatically back up into this loop all right so then we can test it out we can start our simulation we can see that the lights are going on for us if I don't press it I get a red light and I can wait over here until this one goes back on and if I press it at the right time I get that green light and so in real life you got to be real fast about it um, but you'll have two thumbs on here and then they will turn the greens will turn on and off for you as long as you're within that window there we go there we got the green on this side and we get the red on both sides so we know that this is fully functioning if you're a patron of ours we will send you this code for this project and if you want things to go faster or slower you can change sort of these wait times um, which will help you if you want them to come on more quickly you can change this one too all right thank you so much for joining us make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and check us out at patreon.com slash rosy research where you will get all sorts of fun science programming right into your house all right have a great one bye friends <laughs>